Hello. So, I watched a video on demand today of uh, Fat Shady playing uh, Frontier, which made me realise that I don't really like mobile gaming. I don't like tablet gaming, but I do like PC and console gaming. And it made me realise you can get Android emulators on your PC. So, I'm just going to show you quickly an Android emulator, and I'm going to run Frontier from my PC. So first and foremost, uh, if you want to get Andro Andyroid, Andyroid.net, it is an emulator. There are other emulators out there, but this is the one I prefer, Andyroid.net. It is an all-round, fully encompassed emulator. It does everything your mobile does. It even connects to your account through uh, your Gmail login and your Google login, sorry. Uh, to download it you just simply go to download and you install it from there. I'm not going to go too much into that, I'm just going to let you know the web address andyroid.net so you go there, you download it, you install it and it will boot up automatically. There are other emulators out there, I strongly recommend you go and find the best one for yourself, for example uh, there's six reviews there, seven been reviewed there eight reviewed here so yeah go out and search for the ones that will best suit you generally speaking you've got Andy Royd and blue stacks but for me Andy Royd works better and it's not because of the name Andy so once we've got it installed it should automatically open for you but I'm gonna I closed mine while I started up my OBS and I've already put my account details in. It'll ask you to do that at some point. So we're booting up and it will boot up very soon. There we go. And here we have it. Oh, hello. Look, it's even telling me I've got 411 messages on my Gmail because like I say, I've connected my fully operational emulator to my Google account. But if you want your games and everything, you just go to the Play Store and again, here it comes. All your uh, play games. And I installed Frontier before, that's why the search is coming up. But if I click on that, there it is. Trials Frontier. You just simply click on it, it'll install. Job done. And after that, you've got your home button, which is the very sense one. If you want to play it, we'll go there. Now I haven't booted this up yet, so we're booting it up. It might. Oh, there we go. Hello, rider. Please confirm the following before hopping on your bike. I yes, I've read them. I read them when nobody was watching. So it's now asking me to uh, do my thing. What you can't see is I have got in my hand a controller that doesn't seem to be working. Ah, there we go. I'm pressing my B button to accelerate, which is weird. But there we go. I have just completed a track on Trials Frontier using an Xbox controller, using something called the Android emulator. I'm just going to do a couple more here now. Now, I have played this a long time ago, but I do not remember the tracks at all. Oh, that was bad landing. I don't know what the brake button is. We're going to have to find that out in a minute, what the brake button is. So on the controller it's B to accelerate, which is strange for me. So the brake button, ah, brake button and go back is the A. So B to go forward, A to go backwards. Let's just test this, make sure it's not gravity doing that. Oh no! <laughs> right now how do I reset can I reset from the controller itself no I cannot so let's just click on that what I want to do is 
I haven't got used to the controls yet. Yeah, that is definitely slowing me down. And if I press my A button, look, there we go, reversing uphill. For the rest of it, the left and right parts, I am uh, just using my left analog stick. So there we have it. That is Android on the PC playing with an Xbox controller. So, oh, that wasn't pretty. But on that note, I'm going to leave it there. I hope, oh, oh, I think I was supposed to crash. Oh, this is all an advertisement. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna let you figure out the rest for yourself. I'm gonna stop this record, I'll listen to it back, and throw it on YouTube for anyone that's interested in playing Frontier on their PC. Uh, yeah, that's it. So go on, go off and do it. Bye.